All right, everyone. So, I realized, watching back the first videos I was editing, uh, I didn't really show you the cave too much. But I've actually been down here quite a bit. And lit a decent amount up. As you can see, it goes all the way kind of down there. After it opens up here. But in the process of doing this, I started work on something kind of big. And uh, I just kept going and going. I got it all cleared out. You'll probably guess. Apparently not lit up enough for you. Um, died a few more times doing this. But uh, yeah, this is a double slime chunk. And I confirmed it. I went. I originally saw. Let's see, down there. Uh, kind of sat back here and just watched that area. And uh, as I was clearing this out, I kind of got confirmation and saw sli slime spawning on both these uh, two areas. So, yeah, I just been kind of getting sucked into this. So, I guess on our little board of tasks, uh, slime junk is in order. But I haven't got it all the way down. I, I'm not sure what level I'm at. Oh, I go down there see how much more of a grind I have this part wasn't too bad because all these caves winding through it but still it's clearing it out without a beacon I was just uh, let's see I'm at negative 12 and I suppose now I've got to go to negative 50 something and I know under here this goes down to a big slime area too or a big underground area as well which I'm wondering, somewhere down there there's a zombie spawner I was going to use. I just didn't include it last time because I forgot about it till I got back down here and got caving again. But um, So yeah, I'm, I don't know if it'll be fully operational, but a little change of pace for this next episode. I think what I'm going to go up and do, I'm going to clear out a little bit more here try to get down to bedrock and then go up top and come back in when I'm trying to uh, or as I'm making you know uh, what is it called an aesthetic look a design for for the outside of this because I kind of want to keep it open on this edge and just have windows or something to signify that's what's in this giant area Ooh, copper. something that uh, as you're wandering through the cave, you can just see that that's what's going on here, but... Yeah, I've been... keep trying to get up to 30, and then right around the level I'm at now, I probably should, I'm probably jinxing myself just talking about it, but... Seems like I always find a hole to fall in, or... A creeper sneaks up on me. I want to check uh, how many times I've died now. Is it... Damage take it, damage dealt, distance fallen. There's gotta be something in here. Games quit 32. Oh, is that just how many times you log off? Um, I want to see how much. Time since last death. Where's like total deaths or something like that? Is that in here? I know it says what mobs have killed you, but like. That's is falling on there because I know I've I'm pretty sure I've died at least twice from falling. Hmm. Anyways, yeah, this is sort of down here from the bottom. It really opens up in this big area. I've slowly just been adventuring further and further and lighting stuff up. Um. But yeah, anyways, uh, let's, I'm going to go back up top, make some, try to come up with a little plan, or a little uh, design for the pieces that'll be on the outside anyway. So, I'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye. Well, hello there. Look what I've got. Uh, I'm still in the process of cleaning out my slime uh, area here so you can see I'm getting down there but I stumbled across this right in the side so 
uh, it's kind of exciting. I, I am not sure if uh, slime spawning mechanics have occurred. Well, I was originally had a few different floors and stuff they were spawning in both, but I, I'm just kind of wondering, maybe you guys could let me know if they still spawn all the way down to the bottom of the world, to bedrock? I think they do, but... Oh, I'm so excited to have a spy class. But I am at... Let's see... Negative 38, so i got another about 20 blocks to go or something. But I was just kind of curious if... Uh, I'm not sure if that allow that is. I, they haven't been spawning now that I'm way down here. I don't know if it's just because it's completely open and whatnot, but... I'm kind of curious if I need to go... It's a double spawn chunk too, so if I really go all the way, this is going to be overkill for what I need. I hardly ever use uh, slime anyway, but uh, I'm going to keep going and then hopefully get it set up sometime. This might be a few episode project I'll be working on, but yeah, pretty cool. Got an amethyst geode. Uh, I cut off some of the parts that grow so there's not much growing in here. Which is kind of annoying, but I just wanted to keep going down until I get to bedrock. But yeah, I'm starting to wonder if I even need to go to bedrock because of A, it being a double slime chunk spawner. And I'm already going to have a lot of excess. So, anyways, just thought I'd pop in and show off my new uh, spyglass so see you in a bit all right everyone I am starting to look a little bit shinier <laughs> um, so I've basically haven't stopped working on the slime, slime farm since the last clip and that was I don't know a couple days ago so I've got it just about finished but I am running out of iron my inventory guess now it isn't so bad has been uh, quite the mess uh, turn that down but uh, yeah go down here and show you basically have it all set up and it's now collecting slimes but you'll see here it's not fully enclosed yet um, my plan is to enclose this all in glass and make a cool design for it. And with this, here, let's come over here. I'm putting iron golems on every floor, which is a big reason I've ran, run out of iron. But, uh, if I come over this edge, I still have all those to do down there. I've got the little spots cleared out, but... Yeah, it's just been a grind, and I don't have a beacon, so I don't know why I'm taking on such a large project. This is, uh, yeah, it's two slime chunks next to each other, and I think this one I'm standing on here, let's see, where's F3? I think this one is too, because I'll occasionally, when I was digging it out, some of the caves and stuff that I ran into, I find them in there, but, um, let's go down. So the main area is all done and looking real pretty like and this hasn't been running very long I think this is all just scrap stuff I need to bring up um, not much I should check to see okay but yeah then this will come out this comes out at like lava level so that it'll be perfect and then up here somewhere is that amethyst uh, geode from the previous thing so I'm planning on making this my like I don't know if I want to run down all the uh, amethyst shards or make an automatic farm for that or what but somewhere down there there's an amethyst geode I just realized I think I closed myself off from it now by, by finishing this farm Really, I should have been focusing on making an iron farm because this has just been a miserable task, but. Um, so, I've also hollowed out these areas. So my plan is here, since I have the slime farm here, this is gonna be kind of an underground 
farm industrial farming area. I'm gonna have this will be honey or pumpkin and melon. Kind of like the honey next to the slime. And then over here, sugar cane or melon and pumpkin. Clear out another area back there, but I don't have much for bees right now. So I've been uh, taking it fairly slow. But yeah, basically all my time has been put into this thing. And it's still like, now that I've... Ooh. Come on, where'd my bread go? Now that I'm down to... This last bit, I also realized I didn't bring any, took my scaffold out of this corner and I uh, still have to get all those, so I'll have to water bucket down and up and, oh, slime, I should have just made it halfway, I'll, I'll never use this much slime, I, I, it's not, I'm not a big redstone guy and I don't use it that much, but, uh, yeah, so I've just been grinding away basically. But I wanted to show you guys that downstairs area because it actually took some time and made it look cool. Um, and for glass, basically for all my resources, I've just been trading with villagers. Died a bunch from falling. Uh, <laughs> so every time, this last time, I was at like 40 some levels twice and then fell off when I was making the slime farm and then died, so... Now I'm back down to 12 because it happened again, but I did manage to enchant this armor, except for the feet. But for glass and everything, XP, I basically just keep using that dirt villager thing. Real and as I'm building the slime farm, I'm realizing I should really focus on the villagers and iron farm first because I am, I think, yeah, I'm running out of iron pretty regularly. I could break down this, but I still want to keep it all in like the ore formations in case I want to use it for something later. Um, do I have a bucket up here? I know what I could do. And my pigs are all pretty much diminished. I had a few more uh, zombie piglins come through and use that farm some more so I need to get breeding them up. But yeah, basically just been resource gathering and then when I run out <laughs> of stuff to, and the ability to do things with the slime farm, I come back here, just gather everything, trade with villagers. So it's been a very slow process. But uh, just just quick update on to show the uh, slime farm now that it's nearing completion. Oops. And uh, we'll go from there. Hello and uh, back and the slime farm is done. I think I finished the last clip with that, but wanted to show you what's coming up next year. So while I was digging in, a, while I was digging out the slime farm, I found this up there is an amethyst geode. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this whole space into one big and carve it out and make it one big uh, amethyst geode here. I don't think I'm going to automate it because it's a lot of work for like just fortuning him. It's just a couple times going through with my fortune three pickaxe and it's hardly any or it's like a lot of amethyst. So I, I really don't think I need to do the probably just do it as I go. So that's what I'm um, up here. Ooh, it's kind of loud. I bet. Maybe. And then up here, I started on this honey farm, and then I realized I had the redstone where these were always clicking anytime any of them went, which was kind of dumb because it just spits out bottles all the time. I'm setting up this left side with the uh, the bee, are those nests, and these are hives, or vice versa. Basically, this side's going to be the honey bottles and the honey blocks, and then this side's going to be the honeycomb and the honeycomb block. So. I don't have any bees or enough bees bred up for this side yet, but yeah, I realize my redstone here is all kind of goofy, and I just saw a picture of a much easier. Oh my gosh, come on! Of a much easier way to do this. So what my plan is to come through here and change all this out, and my inventory is full. Ooh, but it's nighttime.
Right? Yeah, okay. So I can actually go take all these bees. Oh, they're hot. Or I want the higher take the hives out for now. Because I don't want them to escape while I'm messing with this. So, just put all this stuff in here. And do that. First. Oh, come on. Come on, meow. Yeah, it was a really super simplistic, tileable farm. And I, I kind of have it in reverse, but having it in this reverse way makes it really hard to... Uh, Come on, man. To, uh, I'm just gonna do that. And then, hoppers will hold all those. Yeah, I basically had this set up so I could always automatically refeed the, un or the unused bottles, but I found a design that is, a uh, it'll only fire for each, what is it, bee nest or whatever? Rather than firing everything all the time. Or firing the whole roll at once. I don't mind if it does on that side because that's all just shears in here. So that won't really make a difference. But it'll... It also will, will allow me... I was planning on making this like... A couple stacks of these things. I've been slowly... Oh no. I've been slowly uh, growing up... Oaks with... The flowers around them trying to get more beehives just to do that so okay need these two and, and go up whoop dumb bad um okay yeah and I'm a, actually I think I'm coming back up with my iron but I got down to pretty much nothing with iron <laughs> um so this new design, let me see if I have everything I need. I just need redstone dust, a dispenser, a beehive, and an observer. So the observer goes, we'll do this, point it down. The observer goes like this, and you need a block behind it, right? So this whole thing will have to go, because this is... This essentially will be where the droppers go. Um, let's see if I can do this right. Need or dispensers rather, that's what they are. And now I'm sure everything is stuck in here. Well this will be fun sorting through. Um, let's, I'm getting distracted here. Any whoozle. Let's, uh, so the dispenser sits like this. Hive sits here. Did I do that right? No. Bad start. Like this, right? And then... Like that. Let's throw in this. So every time the... There's a change, I go... No, that's not right. Wrong. No, I know what I did. <laughs> oh, I thought I had it down. It's like this. And then this is relevant. And like this. So now if I remove that. No. Hmm. Why is that not firing? What is happening? It's facing right there, right? And it's facing down. The red stone is not working. Hmm. I think the design I saw had something like this. Is that going to make a difference? It shouldn't. It should work both ways, right? Nope. That's what it was. Perfect. Okay. So yeah, that's the design. And basically, yeah, the beehive will sit right here. Every time it updates, it'll fire out a glass bottle. And then now I can run my hopper lines here. 
and have the automatic refeeding system. But then I shouldn't have to worry about them you know, firing a bunch all at once. So, all right. Let's, uh, do I want to make this out of cobblestone? I am not entirely sure. I need this. I think what I'll do is I'll just start. The row like this. And then I'll probably cut out here. Finish this side because this is just so much easier. No, it'll still have the same problem, won't it? Because this redstone will will connect. Right? I put another one here. Another thing like this, and another oh. What Where did you come from? Um, hmm. Well, I don't want you escaping. So, apparently I did have some in one of those BNS, or hives, whatever they're called. I gotta figure out which one's which. A anyway, I'm gonna mess around with this, and uh, I will be back shortly. Holy, they have been working. And I'll uh, be back when it's all done, and I kind of figure out what I'm doing. Will a repeater do it? Now we're thinking. I keep thinking I'm gonna cut out, but now I'll. Repeater. Repeater. Pumpkin eater. Will this do it? Instead of this, I go. Who did that for all of them? And then. If it works, it should be. That does not work. Right. Okay. Uh, and what if we get rid of this? And then go like this. And then... Figure out how to go up in one block. And that does not work. Hmm. Why? Let me in. And which one are, which one are they hiding in? I'm just gonna do that because I don't want Oh my gosh, there's so much crap I have going on. Okay, there, there. I wanna be able to see what's going on over here. Okay, so if I place a block come on, here. Pulses. But it doesn't get to that. Why? No, it does. I did, oh, it was working perfectly fine. I just didn't. But that won't transfer to this. Right. And if I do tile this up. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Well, okay, I still, I still like this way more than the way I had it. But, so, let's put some stuff away and have a think. Uh, one observer. What do I need? Quartz and redstone to make, and cobblestone to make observers. Observers, I don't know why I'm saying it so poorly. I don't know how many more I need. Um, oh. Making a farm on the fly. Oh. Okay, so like this. And then bada bing, bada bing, bada bing. Get out of there. And I hear a zombie. Okay, so now I want to know. Go down. Please be quiet. 
What I want to know is if I break this block here. I want to know if this whole thing fires. Sounds like it does, huh? Yeah, it does. Because those are spitting out on this end. Okay, so I didn't solve the problem I had, but I did <laughs> do it differently. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, oh, hello everyone. I am back and I've been grinding away with this bee farm and uh yeah, I'm kind of sick of the caves right now. This is all I've been doing, running back and forth, getting supplies and crafting up these, but just kind of behind everything. Um It's not entirely finished, but I have my bees in there, I still got to breed them up. And then I have over here, honeycomb, bottles, and this. Occasionally I get honeycomb, yeah, going in here, which I'm not sure why, but um, craft these up. But this is all I've been doing since the last clip. It's just, oh, my inventory is terrible. Right. Um, we'll storage area here. Um, craft these up, but yeah, I've, and then I've been running up and trading with my, uh, villagers as much as possible as well. Oh, no, I want those. Come here. And I have this little return loop thing set up, but I need a lot of glass bottles and this is what's been taking the most time. So I fill up this. But I need enough to fill up all these and all the hoppers. <laughs> so I've been running up and trading with the villagers for glass, my library of villagers. So I think I'm going to take a break for this. I haven't, I kind of dug out the amethyst geo down there. I'll, pro I'll probably finish that off camera because that's really not much to it. But yeah, I'm just kind of uh, sick of the cave. So I wanted to go up and show you that I, and I've got a full inventory again. Oh, and yeah, I still need to enclose the slime farm because I also have this going on. This is a a bit of a project for early game, I think. But uh, get out of here, and I don't have any space. Let's drop some stuff here. I don't need all these random. Glass is going to be for a slime farm anyway. But yeah, it's just been a non-stop grind. I, have, I put a lever on each side so I can actually just stop the farm if I want. There was a few times that made it easier to recycle all the, the glass bottles underneath. But... Um, so yeah, that's, a, there's, that's all there is to that. I said the amethyst geode I've carved it out but I haven't started building it all and I'm, that's just gonna be a simple farm there's only a handful of uh, what are they called budding amethyst that spawn in, or that are in there and with the fortune 3 pickaxe you get so many like I've only done two harvests and I have over four stacks so whenever I go down there it'll pretty much be guaranteed I'll get plenty because it haven't really started using it in builds and stuff, but what I have started doing is planning on uh, a villager. This is all the hoppers I have, and I keep finding iron and making them for farms, but a big thing I want to get is these, some of these villagers cured and into a village, and then I also want to get an iron farm going because this has been... <laughs> A lot of back and forth uh, with the farms I'm making, just because, I don't know, I might have overstepped my bounds on uh, on them, but along with this uh, piglin overworld nether farm, I was thinking about making a witch, uh, a witch farm that you don't need a swamp for, so I might hook up a 
Oh my gosh, get out of here. A, a villager breeder into a, a similar thing and have a strategy, make a bunch of, come on, where are you going? Okay. Anyways, here is, I've kind of picked this location as my place for my village. And these are just kind of rough layouts. Uh, I'm going to have to do a lot of terraforming through here, but I kind of just like this area. It's on the way to the jungle, so. Um, this is probably what I'll be working on. I think I'm going to have, I don't remember what each building is in here. I filled in this lake because that was like down to that block there, I think. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm going to set up my breeder probably somewhere back in here so it'll kind of be tucked away and out of sight like the breeder curing station and everything and then uh, as far as the iron farm I usually like doing those underground is my preference I don't know why I've always just I, I think I read that spawning is affected by level like the further down the more spawns you get and I don't even know if that's uh if that's true with like iron farms if they have different spawning mechanics but it, yeah I've always done them underground because I just found it easier to dig dig them out I use a kind of a little variation on a de design that I think Waddles has an old design but, yeah, I'm trying to grow up acacia for the swamp, or in the swamp, the uh, slime farm as well, and close it in, and I still need a bunch of glass for that, but, yeah, with the new caves and cliffs update, there's so many open caves and stuff, I'm just kind of, I'm still pondering if I want to do it down under the ground, because it used to be you could find a big bunch of, like, kind of, blocked in space so you don't have to worry about them spawning in a random cave or anything because I did that one survival world I was working on and uh, yeah they kept spawning and I kept having to find these random caves because I built it too close to one that was kind of a nightmare too but um hmm what am I trying to put away here this well, yeah, this is all I've really been doing is just hopping around back and forth, back and forth, down to the farms and whatnot, and yeah, I think I just need a another project. The slime farms, I, I would say, is done besides closing it. The bee farm, her honey farm, that's still kind of coming along, and the ameth amethyst farm, I've only put down like eight blocks and carved it out, but I kind of want to do something above ground because... Those three projects are getting very, very tiresome, so. Um, did I name tag you already? I have a name tag. Let's do that right now. I have a name tag somewhere. Yes. Scrum. <laughs> this name comes from, I think it was an old local band or something that I had a CD of like a punk metal band or something but I <laughs> just, just always like that name from their CD because they had it like a, a bat, Batman uh, sound effects thing comics I, I can't remember if it was the cover but it was like boom bang ouch scrum or something like that so well everyone I'm back and uh I have decided on um, my new project. I started laying out the village over here, and uh, I decided that I want to make, instead, because I keep running low on iron for hoppers and such, um, over here, I am going, I'm in the process of building an iron farm. Uh, this is the layout here. I think it's like a design I saw by Waddles a long time ago, and I've just always used it. But, uh, yeah, so the irons will spawn above. This will be like the villager area. 
this will be where the zombie sits. It'll be three villagers. And then I'll close it off with like, oops, like glass along here so they can walk around this bit. And I always choose two fishers and a farmer. I don't know, probably because they're the easiest uh, things to make. But uh, yeah, and then above this will be a platform where zombies spawn. Water will push them. Oh boy, lag. What's going on? <laughs> Water will push them into here and then they'll die down there. So, got a bit to go, but I figured I'd pop in and show you some progress here. Um, I don't really have a design for this yet. Probably change this bottom. I like the floor to be glass when I usually build it down. In my mind, that prevents iron golems spawning from inside so they can hurt the zombie, but. Yeah, just toiling away on this for a bit, and then I'm probably going to uh, finish the amethyst geode underneath the world. Let's see, I need some stuff here before I came over here to show you, and I didn't even remember what I needed. Um, so yeah, this is all the iron I have left. <laughs> and like I said, I do, do still have a few blocks left to that I could mine with fortune and get more, but I kind of want to save them for building. I don't know why. Once you have the iron farm, you really don't need to ever mine for iron again. So that's kind of the goal here. And then I will be back, I think. Oh, there's one right here. Yeah, my villagers for a long time, they weren't sleeping in their beds. They just had that green particle effect around them when it turned to night. And I broke all the beds and reset them down and now they're sleeping again. So, I don't know what that was about. Uh, take that. This is my goal. <laughs> Except with less having the pillar. But, uh... Five, nice. But uh, anyways, I'll probably get going on that. And <sighs> Hello, everyone. Oh, it has been a grind. I am... Um, oops. I am still not quite done with the bee farm. But I did go down and fin do a quick shell for the amethyst farm. And these three farms all in one episode is kind of the reason it's taking so long. Um, whew. Yeah, it, it's been a lot of up and down getting materials and all this. Uh, in here, I don't have anything planned yet, but these are all bees. This is the honey bottle section, which I put on the second floor. And everything comes to here right now, but since there's no flowers and they're not pollinating, they're not making honey. I have to build a collection system for this yet, but yeah, it's just been such a grind. Um, actually go down. This just goes, it's like a shortcut to my, where I started caving, goes up over there. There's a staircase going up to the surface, but let's go down here, kind of show off. So yeah, the slime farm, the bee farm, and amethyst farm are all in some way done. Slime farm obviously is accomplished earlier this well, earlier clips, but uh yeah I kinda just built up a shell for this for now. Um there's not much for the budding amethyst up there. But you get so many of these off of every time that after kinda just built the sh shell up and I'm just gonna I might do a collection system, or I might just make it so I can just, you know, harvest from here, you know, and I'm using silk touch, aren't I? Yes, I am. But yeah, there's not much uh, to this right now. Ooh, I should maybe... Maybe that can be a way I decorated. Because they give off a little bit of light. Yeah, I uh, went to the nether, traded some piglins, because I had this idea to incorporate. I don't know how much I like the look of it, but... <laughs> I did get enough crying obsidian. I have like two more pieces somewhere. I don't think they're down here. Pretty much 
out of calcite. I think that's all I have left. And then the outside of it is just kind of a, yeah, kind of looks like a geode formation in there, but yeah, so the slime farm, I should check this. It's been running basically the whole time I've been up there. Yeah, it's pretty good. And I've been slowly just putting them, transferring slime balls from this to this. Mainly because uh, <laughs> when I did this, I only put the hoppers to the first one in each of these sets of two, so I have to manually transfer them over. And I just didn't feel like redoing it. But um, It's a long way down. Anyways, so yeah, this is kind of the outside structure of the bee farm. These are all now bee, those hives, the ones you make yourself. They're not all full. There's only a handful of bees in in this because I moved all the ones I had bees up to there for the honey. But um, yeah, I just made all of these. What's going on here? <laughs> I just made all of these honeycomb with the filters because I kept having it miss this first one. I always have to check in here. So I decided to make this whole bottom area all honeycomb. And that way I don't have to worry about restocking glass bottles. And I, for uh, the, yeah, the actual honey bottle one up here, I have a, this contraption here, this, I probably can't. Yeah, this is like my restocking method. I, uh, if I send this cart out, runs along hoppers that go into the droppers that are above those hoppers there that runs right along there so it gets more even distribution because the old way I had it, it was just a, a hopper chain but uh, yeah boy I am tired of grinding down here and being in the caves and I was really hoping I'd get get it done get all that done faster but this thing I never really know how long things are going to take when I start doing them or what I need. I kind of am a learn on the fly kind of guy. I did, uh, I kind of wanted to get to this more so today, but, or in this episode, but I got the idea for the episode to be called Purple, Green, and Gold. And so I just got kind of consumed by working down in the caves and finishing it. But, uh, I think I already maybe showed, but I do have, I am planning on, uh, Moving these villagers kind of over there. I've been laying out a village. I haven't built any structures, but I think next episode I'll be doing the iron farm. I also had an idea since I have the inefficient gold farm, and this might just be inefficient farms or really basic farms starting out. But uh, I was playing around in creative for like way too long <laughs> before I realized how the mistake I was making, but I was going to try to make a sort of inefficient squid farm since you can now uh waterlog mine carts which I don't think I have any rails or mine carts left and I have almost no iron as well I think as with the previous episode I am going to come over here and do some fishing and have a think Ooh, and I should probably look at the board cuz I don't know honey farm Okay, that's done. Explore, conquer, nether fortress, caving. That one's going to be a while. I think I'm very sick of caving, villager breeder, mob spawner, iron. Hmm. So we did one, and we did an amethyst farm and a slime farm, which weren't on there. But I think I am just going to relax right here. And as with the previous episode, see if I can catch something over my back, but whoop, hot dog. Let's go like this. And then, uh, anyways, I've been Josh Miss Prime. Thanks for watching, and have a good one. Bye-bye.